Hey guys, so I just finished taking the Open Educational Resources course. A um, lot of great information. Um, so before taking this course, I was familiar with um, open licenses, uh, Creative Commons licenses, um, just from learning about them in a previous course and then, you know, just utilizing images, audio, and uh, even video files that I find around the net. Um, I mean, if you open or uh, do a Google search for Creative uh, Commons uh, pictures, videos, audio files, um, you'll find a lot of uh, websites that host tons of files that are free to use, free to remix um, and redistribute. So um, that was one thing that I had dabbled in a little bit before. Um, but one of the most surprising um, things that I learned um, from taking the Open Educational Resource course was um, the availability of open textbooks. Um, there are a ton of sites that offer free to use textbooks that you can utilize um, in any classroom, um, in any course that you're designing, any lessons. Um, so that was a, a big surprise. Um, over my college career, I've bought, you know, probably hundreds of books that, you know, if I added it all up, would amount to thousands of dollars. Um, and unfortunately, the majority of these, the majority of those books, um, I'll probably never really use again. Um, and I could say probably a lot of them that I purchased, we maybe used once or twice throughout um, the course. Um, they weren't really needed. So replacing those expensive textbooks with uh, free to use or um, cheaper um, alternatives um, is a definite plus in my eyes. Um, you know, we have this wealth of information available to us and um, I think we're kind of doing students a disservice by making them purchase, you know, these really expensive, um, you know, textbooks that they may not use um, that much. It's kind of like throwing away money. So by using these open resources, um, we can provide students with, you know, still a quality um, education, but at a much more um, affordable um, price. Um, so if I were to share one thing um, about the course with a colleague, I would probably want to share just all the information on the um, the licenses. It can get confusing. You have to know what to look for, what you know each license means. Um, usually, I mean, if you're not making money um, off of other people's um, content, it's okay to do what you want with it, but then you have those licenses where that don't allow for derivatives. You can redistribute for free, but you can't, you know, remix it or reuse it. So um, those are things you definitely want to be aware of. So there's not any um, issues brought against the content. You don't get your content taken down or anything like that. Um, question four. So as far as how my practice has changed as a result of um, taking this course, I would say that um, I'm a lot more aware of the uh, open uh, resources available around the net. Um, if there's a paid tool, there's usually a free alternative. Um, and hopefully that becomes a trend as we move forward. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with making money off of an application or, you know, something that you create it. But, um, I mean, the internet is meant to be a place where people can freely access information. Um, I know if I have to, you know, click through a paywall to view like a news source or anything like that, I usually don't. Um, I think it's part of the, the nature of the net to be able to freely distribute content and allow others to use it how they want. Um, once it goes on the net, it kind of 
belongs to everyone, I would say. So um, I would love that trend to continue, but um, definitely appreciate it taking this course. I learned a lot. Um, I'll provide a link to the course I'm talking about um, down below. So check it out. You might learn something.